Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Zex Tech. Today we are reviewing the Tamron 24270 lens. This is the USD DISP 24270 f2.8 from Tamron, and that's an extremely hard to pronounce name, but it's you approve. But that doesn't detract from the fact that it's a great lens, nevertheless. <laughs> Now let's start off with the design. Firstly, the lens, uh, you see that, that the if you look at the lens, kind of the front of the lens, that it's 82 millimeters in diameter, so that's the filter, that is the filter you, you should be shopping for if you're looking for a filter and you're buying this lens. And uh, you can see that that amazing glass in there is very clear, very beautiful, definitely just a great looking lens in general. Now below that, you have, a zoom ring as well as a lock for the zoom ring and a focus ring that is very smooth but the, the range of the focus ring is very short so you can't really get the best pull focus um, the very slow pull focus for that great b-roll so that's a bit sad but um, in general it's still very very nice below the focus ring you do have a little glass display that shows you the focus range the focus distance i think it's called so basically this is the distance the zoom this is the distance of the the object uh the subject needs to be from the lens if it wants to stay in focus and on the left of the lens you have the switches for turning on and off autofocus and turning on and off image stabilization image stabilization is pretty darn good actually now in terms of accessories, it doesn't come with much, it comes with a lens hood, lens cap, and uh, that's it. It doesn't have a very, it doesn't have that good looking box uh, that comes with Sigmas, with that good looking pouch that's very functional, that comes with Sigmas, which is very unfortunate because I would love to use that. Uh, I would love to have something like that to store my lens safely and uh, comfortably. Okay, now let's move on to image quality, shall we? So this is a f2.8 lens, which means it has great bokeh, and uh, the glass is beautiful. So you can get great b-roll and great footage in general because you can get that good bokeh. So that good, very nice looking blurry background. In fact, all the b-roll on the channel, except for this video's b-roll because I can't film uh, this lens without using another of this lens, which I don't have. I don't have two of these lenses. And um, all of the B-roll on this channel, except this for this video, has been shot on this Tamron. So you can go and look at my old videos and judge the quality for yourself. And uh, the 24, and apart from that, the image quality is amazing. Uh, it's very sharp, very beautiful. The, the images are still very crisp. Um, and the and basically the use is very simple you just plug it in and play it's not like uh, a, a lens that has a lot of problems with cameras I know of some lenses that actually do have some trouble working with many different cameras but this one works fine with most cameras even very old cameras like the EOS 350 uh, EOS 300 which is non-digital film camera the image there isn't the image stabilization doesn't work on that though because of the lack of power but even then it still works with the old film camera so the autofocus is perfectly fine um speaking of autofocus i it's really really good when it worked yeah when it worked um the autofocus died out on this lens after a couple of months which is disappointing i would have fixed it with warranty but i bought this lens in japan so i can't fix it for free and i don't really know where to fix where to find a someone who can repair this for me um but the autofocus definitely is good if yours works so i would recommend it uh i'll recommend you buy this locally because even though the ultrasonic silent drive motor in here is very silent and it's very quick at autofocusing which is very good um from what I experience, it's not very reliable. So my personal take will be that you buy it locally and don't try to cheap out by buying it from somewhere else for the safety of warranty. Unless you go back to that place very often. I don't go to Japan all the time, so I can't, I can't fix the lens. Um, now, 
image stabilization now image stabilization on this lens still works so that's great and it's real it works very well as well so it's great for doing things like b-roll or just using portable image or taking images uh handheld because image stabilization will help will definitely help you out with keeping a clear image that, that isn't caused that isn't blurred by your shaky hands um, which is very very nice um, also when you're taking like b-roll so you're panning the camera image stabilization will help out by preventing the little jitters if you have a cheap and less um, less smooth tripod uh, so yeah the image stabilization and the autofocus works great but the autofocus doesn't seem that reliable by the way my uh, my lens here is actually working off a EF mount uh, designed for Canon cameras, Canon DSLRs and I'm using a full frame lens with a APS-C sensor which is a um, crop sensor but it's fine, it still works perfectly but the focal range will be slightly increased in the length so instead of 24mm it's like 35 or something I don't know the exact math and I don't have a calculator with me right now so that's the, there's that for image quality very very good but how about the uh, build quality in terms of build quality I have to say it's very darn good the whole thing is made of metal except for the caps um, and the zoom ring uh, zoom slash focus ring because uh, that one's made of rubber so that you can get a better grip um, but one bad thing one disadvantage of the whole thing being made of metal and actually having super solid glass inside is that the weight of the lens is insane so if you mount the lens on a heavy camera you mount uh it, it should be fine on a good tripod and heavy camera it should be fine but if you say uh bought this excitedly as an upgrade for your uh, basic setup like with a canon t6i uh, hoping to upgrade your image quality like crazy uh, and you only have a crappy tripod the, this thing is just going to topple your camera the camera is just going to topple forward because the center of gravity will be moved forward with the severely heavy camera so that's one thing to know so because of the weight I won't recommend it actually for portable use for handheld shots because you're gonna have a hard time using it and um, and that's that but I would recommend it for things like short films, for b-roll, tech videos, not vlogging but basically any scenario where you can use a tripod or a monopod at the bare minimum subscribe by the way if you want to see the Manfrotto 680B put to the test um, it's a monopod and uh, with this lens and uh, yes so that you can get the most stable and the best possible shot you won't want to use it freehand because it's going to be shaky even with image stabilization and you, you just, your hands are just going to be tired especially if you say throw a battery pack on your camera and it's just going to be a heavy combo in general that you won't enjoy using so uh, I guess that's it for this video uh, this review inclusion what do I think great lens Kind of expensive. Try to buy it locally because of the auto, of that poor autofocus. Great for B-roll. Great for video. Great for stationary use. Not that good for portable use, but still a great lens in general. Do consider if you're looking to upgrade your video setup or studio photo taking setup. Anyway, that's what uh, that's it for this review. If you find it helpful, B, do give me a thumbs up. If you didn't. It's okay, go with dislike, but tell me in the comments below why you thought that review not uh, it was uh, why you thought the review wasn't helpful or why it sucked so I can improve and next time we can actually so and then my videos can actually get better, which is good for everyone. Um, especially me. And um, subscribe if you want to see more tech reviews like this and for the Manfrotto 680B review then uh, the monopod that is really 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 good um, as well as a uh, video that's coming up soon that I'm pretty excited to make about old cameras I'm going to test some old cameras in today's day and age so subscribe for that share this video if, you're, if you know anyone looking to upgrade their lens uh, their camera setup their DSLR setup so uh, that would be greatly appreciated and uh, I guess that's it for this video 
and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, by the way.